All right, Colton, uh, you're a skate champion. What does that mean? What's going through your mind right now? Um, everything we've worked for since day one. Uh, we knew we had the talent to do this. Um, every day was a grind at practice. Um, in every single game, we just knew that we needed to play our hardest at all times, and we'd end up where we are today. You guys had a lot of offensive success all game. Uh, just what kind of led to that? Was that something before the game that you guys thought you would have a uh, matchup uh, there? Um, our offense this whole season has been phenomenal. Um, adding Braden Shepard halfway through the season as well was huge for us. Um, we just knew that if we just played our game and with our forwards and midfield, if we just moved the ball and did the little passes, we're going to get a goal. And we put three in today. So Your two goals were obviously the difference in the second half. Take us through those. What's going through your mind in those as well? Yeah, um, I, I'm right footed, but I was feeling my left foot today. So a lot of my touches were naturally going to my left foot. Um, I saw that the right back was kind of creeping in to try to steal it. So I did a little tap by him and then just had um, 1v1 with the goalie twice. So. State champ freshman year. Sophomore year doesn't happen. Junior year, I know you guys had lofty goals, didn't even didn't get here to end your career the way you do it, at least at the high school level. What does that mean? What are the emotions with that? Um, it feels amazing. Um, actually, freshman year, I was at Thomas Jefferson. So um, I wasn't a part of the state champ team. But just to get one ring before I graduated with this awesome team, it just feels amazing. So. Well, Lewis Central's Braden Shepard, a state champion today. Uh, Braden, a strong showing from you and your team. What are the thoughts? What's going through your mind right now? Uh, I mean, it's just it's just an amazing feeling. Uh, from when we beat Glenwood in the sub-state final, we knew that coming here that we're coming to come for it all, and it's either if we don't, we're going to go down fighting. Felt like kind of a, a business trip of sort for you guys this week, just very business-like. Um, take us through this week. What was the approach? Um, the approach was really take care of your body, you know, eat right, sleep right, hydrate and all that so that we can perform on the field as best as possible. And then uh, on the, off the field, you know, taking care of yourself. You had a goal very early on. Uh, take us through that. Uh, so what happened was uh, I, had, I had dispossessed their holding men, I believe, and the ball had fallen to Jonah. And then I made a, like a backdoor run, and Jonah put it over the top in a bad touch from, their, from the kid that I just dispossessed. And I was just one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and I just had to keep it, stay composed and finished. First year at Lewis Central, you had a great year last year at St. Albert but before transferring here. Uh, obviously, it ends with a state title, but, but how would you sum up this season for you? Um, well, you know, at the beginning of the season, I had the transfer ban rule where I couldn't, I had to sit out a couple games, which, you know, that kind of like affected me mentally because, you know, as soon as, I'm, as soon as I'm eligible, I had to come out guns firing to help the team as much as possible, which, I mean, I felt like I did. I mean, I felt like I could have done more personally earlier in the season to help me like be more in game shape. But I mean, overall, I think it was a pretty good season and we ended it the way we wanted it to. Yeah, uh, where do you feel the game was won today? Aside from obviously Colton's game winners, um, what were the strengths today? Um, I would say our midfield. Uh, our midfield, back line, pretty much everywhere. Because uh, we, our midfield, if a ball get played over the top and it beat all of our lines and it follow our back line, our back line would have to play it through the midfield and our midfield would connect both of it. So I think our midfield is where we would have won this game. What does it mean uh, with the season behind you now to, to share this with the guys? Uh, it's just an amazing feeling. I mean, now we can go and celebrate winning state. All right, coach, uh, state champs again. What are the thoughts? Just it, it's just amazing. Words really can't describe it. To be honest with you, these guys deserve it. They've worked hard all year. Um, after we let last year slip away, up 3-0 at half, um, to go to state to lose it. I mean, it's just it's just, I'm really I'm, I'm a loss loss for words right now. These guys deserve it. These seniors work hard all year. Um, couldn't be any more happy for them, and, and I love them. Felt like this week, uh, you guys were, were very business like. Um, took care of things early in the first two games. Would have liked to have today, but but when you needed to, you got the job done. How does this week uh, exemplify this team? Just being resilient, coming out, working hard, um, working for each other and together really is the best way to describe it. Um, we're for each other. Uh, this is probably one of the looser groups I've had, um, but when they step on that field, they're ready to rock and roll. Um, they did a great job today, um, played together for each other. They left everything on that field, and I couldn't be any more happy for them. Colton Costello's senior leadership showed in the second half. Uh, speak to that. 
He's just been a leader ever since he stepped into our program a couple years ago. Um, we've looked for him for guidance, um, both on and off the field. He's been amazing. What adjustments did you guys make in the second half? Uh, they had kind of going into the second half, they would kind of controlled the end of the first half. You guys come out, get a couple looks early on, and then Colton's able to find the net a few times. Yeah, um, we actually were pretty fortunate to get out of there 1-1 at halftime. Uh, we hit, hit the crossbar once or twice. They hit the crossbar once or twice. Um, we just had to make an adjustment to our midfield. Um, they were kind of overloading the middle, and uh, our guys weren't really picking up on it. So we talked about that at halftime. Um, I kind of adjusted a few things, showed the guys where they should be, and, and they went out and executed it flawlessly. You look back at 2019. I don't know that a lot of people outside of the program saw that run coming. Uh, this year, I think a lot of people would have, at the beginning of the year, saw a year like you had coming. What does that say about the growth that you guys have made over the last four years? Really, it's just the culture and the commitment of the players, um, buying in, working hard for each other, coming each and every day to practice, to training, to our games, team dinners, team outings, um, working hard for each other. Really, that's what it's about. Speak to the defense today. Uh, gave up one, but other than that, uh, we're able to contain them. Yeah, our defense has played stout all season. Um, they played magnificent uh, this tournament. Um, senior leadership, back line, all seniors. Um, that includes our goalkeeper. Um, just communicating, working hard, and uh, just being physical. I mean, I mean, that's what it's about, winning the ball and finding feet. How fitting is it to, to end the season like this? Couldn't ask for anything better. It's great. Glad to be a Titan.